World Championship campaign was bidding for a seventh appearance in the last eight. Last year he reached the last four. Uh, score to settle for Tony O'Shea's opponent uh, because Colin knocked him out in the first round last year. Uh, but Tony, shown by his performance in the first round against Ted Hankey, confirmed he can match anyone. Here we go, fasten your safety belts. We're going to join the match at two sets all. Tony has won the first leg in the final set. Got to forget that missed double. Yeah, it would have been nice. <laughs> back to the work. I think Tony will be feeling pretty good about this leg. Probably see some big scores from him. And they'll need them to try and break Colin. Let's just have a look. There's a flag going into the board. This is exactly what the player himself sees. 100. Four score, 100 apiece. horizontal line not the best first start that must it a bit 60 there we see it and there we go Collins flight more direct Watch the flight pass. You say, much straighter down. Well, he's had three 100s. He's not pleased because he want to get the 140s really in these tight, tight pressure situations. 60. But uh, Colin doing well with that ton pace. 80 points ahead, plus these. Very little daylight between either player. 100. And that's consistency. Yeah. Four tons on the trot. I'll need one extra point on the next turn. This corner drops his dart. Needs another trouble to leave a finish. 100. No, so uh, Colin can breathe a little easier on this 101. One. See where he goes for a start. Yeah, 44 left. 12 for double 16. Well, he's got four for double top. Back to the double top. Yes, he's hit it this time. 101 out after four times. A beautiful leg of darts. We're going nuts for the monkey. Off we go again. Look at this. These are the finishes. We've had 11 of 14, two 15s, four 16 pluses. That's from a shave. Monk, 12, 13, four 15s. You're seeing standards of world championship darts. This is great. He's really aggressively trying to break Tony O'Shea. Great focus on display tonight from Colin Monk. Now O'Shea's been more scrambling tonight, uh, even on the legs he's held. 59. It's just been narrowly. I wonder if last year's coming back to him, John. Well, it must be. Okay. There's one boy rolling in the background there. Even he's enjoying it. The king's with him. That first start again. Well, he got a chance to get his advantage back, and he's done. Well, he got 100 there. I thought it was a 60, so that's pretty good. I thought he'd let Colin back in with another good chance to get ahead. Well, that first start, Moshe, is just going below, making it difficult for him to throw a natural down. Yeah, and he doesn't seem to like the switch to the 19, so he just always staying on that 20. So 
there's pressure on uh, O'Shea here because he knows if he doesn't hold the throw, Colin has the throw for the match. 97. But the same thing is going through Colin's mind. Well, there's a thinking monk. Yeah, but at least yeah. if Colin loses this leg, he knows he has the advantage of throw. So theoretically, he should be able to hold. Much more important this leg to O'Shea. 59. Yeah, and he got some Trouble breathing room there. Trouble 20. Well, he's got at least another three uh, darts. I'd, be, I'd come away from that trouble, 20. That's good thinking. Oh, two yeah. big troubles. That was good. 125. To double fun. Yeah, excellent uh, adjustment and adapting. Complete silence. 60, 20, 20. So it's double 10 for 2-1. Yes, that's the shot. Yes, 17 dart leg, but a very important leg for Tony O'Shea. Yes, puts him one away from victory. And it's Colin to throw first. Go Here we go. Colin Monk, yes, it's nail biting time for Colin Monk. Has to take this leg to save the match and going the right way about it. 121. That'll do, John, for this stage. Well, in fact, Tony O'Shea hasn't broken the throw of Colin Monk since the second leg of the match. So it's a tall order for him to try and do it here. Is he There's the maximum. Yeah. Well, as I say, he hasn't broken the throw since the second leg of the match. Collins dominated. But somehow, O'Shea's hung on all through the match to force, his, force it this far. He hasn't given. What a full state throughout. <laughs> but 180 to start. Come on, can this be another? It's can. Oh, what can timing. Can do it? Oh, unlucky. Five treble twenties on the trot. The leg, if he wins, will take the match. But at the same time, could have been looking at a nine-dart outshot jump. Well, yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, six darts to 181, but uh, still might not get a chance at the, getting this leg. Look at the darts from Colin Monk right back at him. Get to the 60 left. No finish for O'Shea, 181. And he's done just about everything he could. Take this leg of darts. You see nothing like it. Look at this. 161 left. Double eight after nine darts. Nine darts strong. Not going to get a chance for it. It's Colin Buck. 60 left. To force this to a tie break. 20 for double top. He'll take his time. Be sure of that. Never seen a leg like it. In all the years I've been here at the embassy. Double stop. Yes. Tony O'Shea on a 10 dart out shot. Doesn't get a shot. 11 darts for Colin Munn. What a leg of darts to save the match. Tony just cannot find a way to break Colin Monk again. <laughs> well, it's time break time now, John. Two clear legs. Yeah, so at least two more legs to enjoy in this match. Maybe five more. Well, if it goes to 5-5, five, five, then or it's seven the more. final. Yeah. <laughs> One of the greatest uh, tie breaks was uh, in the final. First Taylor Mount Gregory went to the final leg up for the ball. And it was the year where Mike Gregory had four doubts at the double to win the title, but it never happened. 100. See the fryer on the flights. 
Yeah, but uh, Tony en enjoying a comfortable uh, advantage. He's been good on them for the shots. Yeah, he's left the maximum finish of 170. I think he might go for it in this situation, too, even if he doesn't need to. 100! This is Alpine. Wants another. Yes, ball! up in the air. I think the old crowd here are as well, John. It's fantastic. Everything's happened. Yeah, it's been a special match. Well, I think he's more worried about his leg next. 40. Tony requires 25. The press ahead, 3-2. Needs the double eight. No worries, 17. he's back again. Calling it 206. Calling with a big shot here, though. And uh, she might just feel the pressure. Yeah, so he's just getting ready to come back for double fall. Will be O'Shea. See, he wants one treble here, so at least it's uh, a one treble out shot. Yes, so uh, there is some pressure here for Tony O'Shea. He's. Uh, Bumbled around a bit after missing the 170, yeah, but not on this double Dave four. Shot. And the fifth leg, Tony O'Shea. Sixth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Two flexing back then last year. It was 4-2. The match went in the final set to Colin Monk. It's 3-2 at the moment to Tony O'Shea. But look at this start. 100! Is this enough with this standard? Uh, no. Not if that's all he gets in the leg, but if he comes back with a 180, he'll be fine. Or a 140. But there's the 180, John. Uh, for Tony, yeah. I would not be surprised to see Colin come back with one the way it's been going. Please do, Colin. Let's go all the way. He is under extreme pressure now, though. Good marker, though. The next two. One hundred. Okay, counting down time. Is that first out? Uh, awkward now. Sixty. He's disappointing there. I don't know why he needs to call it. No, he should really, but uh, everyone has their own style. You do what you're most comfortable with, what you're most confident in. Aaron's out there saying, come on, Dad, come on, Dad. He desperately wants 140, just in case he needs to finish next time. 100! Well, if he'll do, gives him 60 points clearance. Yeah, but O'Shea, six starts from 261, not... Not impossible. Another treble would make it more likely, but you will get a chance at a finish for the match. 161. The standard they've played, it's not unlikely that he could do it. Well, Collins had a 1-6 or out shot. But now has to get into the treble. Do himself a handy finish to save the match. In the sky. Yeah, treble 20. Won't finish the match. Won't win the match here. Wants to set this up. Put the pressure on. 64 left. So all the pressure on the wall on Colin Monk to stay alive. Well, everybody's cheering you, Colin. 101. Treble 20 leaves 41. Single 109. He's going to think this out. Is it double top? He's also been at double 16. Maybe nine. One dart, double 16. Deadly quiet. Oh, he pulled it. He shakes his head, John. Yes, it's chances for the match now. Avenge last year's loss to Colin Monk. Needs treble 16 or treble 8. Yes, double 8 for the match. 
No, one more dart. No! Oh, 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 back alive! Colin Lacroix, 16. Well, is Julio Patoni. Colin's family's all over. It's all going bonkers here. It's settled down with a complete silence once again. With Colin Monk wanting double eight to save the match. Double four. He yes, hasn't yes, that one that much at all in the match. That, that double four has saved Colin Monk many times. To throw first. Game on. More drama than an Agatha Christie novel, this. Good sport the there. The throw. chanting for Thank Colin you. as Tony was going to throw. Colin was waving them off. Say, please stop and let Tony throw. Excellent sportsmanship in this very tense situation. That's what this sport is about. It's three apiece, final six. Well, there he is having a little rest, is Martin. One hundred! One thousand two hundred people in here giving the order that these two players deserve. One hundred! Yes. One hundred! Oh, pushes ahead a little bit. So, advantage. Well, still with O'Shea. It is now. 140! There's that finish once again, 161, 100 will leave the same finish yeah, for Colin. Yeah, 140 would be uh, not unlikely either and leave a much better finish. Well, now, now two trebles, he's still going to have a two treble to a double finish. He can still do it. No. 45! So, uh, Tony McDonald, 161. Doesn't need it really, Tony. No, but at the same time... We're going to get into the trouble to make it comfortable. Yeah, good turn, turn. That well, makes life much easier next time up. 180, Colin, would leave you double 18. But Tony will definitely be coming back for that 61. There's one. There's two. Oh, lucky, but he's put him there. Yeah, it's good pressure. Treble 15 or bull. Yeah, double 18. Yeah, 14 dart legs to hold his throw. Every leg, all seven legs to this end have gone with advantage of throw. Okay. To throw first. Game on. Collins turn up the hockey with the first throw. Not the start is open for... But, 100! But that's a recovery. One. Two. 140! OK, the battle's on for Colin once again. Has to win this leg to save the match. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. But it's what he needed. Still puts him 100 points clear. Yes, and uh, but still, O'Shea, 140, could maintain. Well, they're at all level. But now, coming to the point of no return. He's doing well. Look at this house here under that pressure. It's the maximum.
which could keep him in the match. 140. Coming in by 81. So it's treble 15 for double 18 to force yet another two legs of the match. Nine jump. Maybe. Yes. 12 or treble 12. Bullseye to keep the match going. Oh, this is another match opportunity for O'Shea. 12 dart leg required. Well, the thing is, it's finishing points. It won't happen with that errant dart. A rare, rare slip in these late stages of the match. Still a lot to do. So once again, his hopes are still alive. One, he's double 16. Double 16. Fantastic stuff. Game on. We're back on. And it's Tony O'Shea underway. 125. We set the stage for Colin. 125, a very good start. Look at this. The averages have gone up in this last set. 97.03 for Colin, 94.25. He was at 91 last time. How is he fighting to stay alive, Tony O'Shea? Colin Muck, both 6'180s, 40 hundreds apiece, 2140s each. Just an excellent advertisement for darts. Gripping. 100! But it's Colin that's had to fight back all the way through this final set. Let's become the first player to six legs now, no matter what. Essentially a best of three situation. <laughs> but there's daylight there. It's still as cool as when he first started. It's still rock solid. The cheers will ring out once again for Colin Monk. That finish of 161. Well, after his match with Ted Hankey in the first round, I didn't think it would uh, he'd have a better match the second round, Tony O'Shea. But somehow he's found a way to into one. Like points, trouble 20. Tony O'Shea still coming back for one three three. Yeah, but eight two one. Trouble nineteen or trouble fifteen. Went for the ball. This is an authentic break opportunity, Tony though. If O'Shea doesn't 23. take out this two treble and a double out shot, it's treble twenty first. Yes, treble nineteen. Oh, pulled it severely. Disappointment. Eighty one. Sixty-four. May only get one data to double A. It could go for treble sixteen, double eight, a single sixteen. And then just one data to double. Two darts it is, double eight. It's there! Yeah, yeah, Fourteen darts! But that's not the match, because Tony O'Shea has the chance to try and break Colin Mudd back. But he's in front for the first time, 5 4. Tell Glenn is calling to throw first. Game on. Well, the camera switch into both parties. Jill, who's there supporting Tony, Kirsty, and Aaron with Colin. But here we go. Throwing for the match. And the first break, the first break of the set. Ninth leg. I wouldn't be surprised to see Tony O'Shea break back. 
Yes, they're checking out well. 30 throw on 15, 50%. 50%, Porsche. yeah. 36.66. Over, over 30 darts thrown, a 50% average on the checkouts is, is really excellent. Yeah, we've seen the stats, we've seen the averages in the 96s, 7s. But it's been the temperament of both players to give us such a fantastic game. Is this the final leg? Well, if it isn't, the next one will be. 100! It's O'Shea's turn to fight back. Body language not promising for O'Shea. You know, Discouragement. Makes the point where the thinking of leaving a three dart out show. One hundred. in the eyes. Oh, forget body language. This is a maximum. Under all sorts of pressure, O'Shea hits the maximum, as did Colin in the last leg. What's Jill go there? Double twenties, double ten, one, double ten. Oh, well, this is it. Now it's his Colin first match Colin shot Colin opportunity. Call him up. This is the one, John. He won't be rushed. He'll take his time. He'll get the best of order for the match. Twenties first. Well, he needs treble 20 to leave double 19. His only other option would be treble 16 for both, so he'll go for 20s. So, O'Shea with a chance to put it back. Make us go to the 11th and deciding leg. He needs double 10. Double 10. It's already come for you, Tony. Double 5. Oh, yeah, what a big dart! Not so easy hitting that double five under that kind of pressure. Final yeah. set is now tied at well, five Well, that's goals. sportsmanship. The 11th leg is the decider. It's Tony to throw for the ball first. Game on! Right, so it's Tony O'Shea will be throwing for the ball to decide who will be throwing first in this final leg. Throwing first might not matter. The last two legs both went against the throw <laughs> after such a long run of legs 25. with the throw. I think I'd rather be throwing first there, John. To be honest, that's 25, so he retrieves the dart. If he gets to 25, then they'll go again. 25. Okay, retrieve once again. All waiting for the outcome yeah. who's throwing first. And they switch order. Now it's Colin first for the shot for Bull. Believe me, you're happy with a 25. <laughs> you want a 50, but 25 is better than nothing. 25. will take all night. He mostly score 125. It's only throwing first this time, and 25. number 25. Be the same party the 25 as well, John. Yes, well, I'm having a laugh. Well, it's after a smile, as you say. The atmosphere, you could cut it for the night. 50. Well, it would be <laughs> unusual for O'Shea to do the same after all those ties. Oh, oh so close, but it's Colin to go first. Very best of order, please. Okay, Game big on. breaths. Dig deep. This is it. 
the final leg. And he started many legs tonight with that hundred. One hundred. So the fact of it in that ball has maintained an advantage after the first three darts. Two six one leg. Surely he's not going to try and get over the top. Well, he did, he did, and he got it. So uh, forty points of difference. He knows his game. The odd one has to come off. It's a bad time for that, though. <laughs> Very bad time to go right. Recovered. But only one, it's 180 left, so Tony O'Shea has six darts from 301. It might sound a little ridiculous, but uh, he gets a few trebles and we won't be laughing. If we can get a treble here, he's 161. 100! You know, so advantage to Monk, six darts for 180 to finish. He just wants a ton here, I, I guarantee you. Just please get a ton, he's thinking. So he has a nice, easy out shot next time. That's the pressure you put on yourself. There is pressure out there. What a great cover. He needed it. It's only 201. Oh, yes. This is the point of no return. First chance. Yeah, he'll go. He'll start for the twenties. Forty-two. Ten leaves double sixteen. Six leaves double eighteen. For the match. Yes. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's it's the deciding leg. The monkeys go mad. And you have to feel for O'Shea. Well, you've got to see him. Look at his son running down there. That is what this sport's about. Tony O'Shea. So much drama. So much excitement. In one game of darts. It's the Embassy World Championship. That's what this is made about. A truly magnificent match. It didn't deserve a winner. The should ball still be there. But well done, Colin, and lucky there to Tony. And here's the man himself. Um, do you enjoy watching yourself? No, um, no not at all. I've just uh, been watching it there and um, just so aggressive, aren't I? Just, uh, <laughs> just all aggression. But, um, the mean monk. Yeah, I um, don't like watching myself play, actually. Not at all. Um, just try not to uh, look at it, really. But um, when I see myself there, I thought, oh, no. I just don't like him on bit. Colin, what goes through your mind when you're playing? Mostly try to be calm and be focused. That is my, uh, my main object. And what are your reflections now after what everyone is discussing as one of the greatest games ever in this championship? Um, it's nice to win one. I remember a couple of years ago, I think it was the first round I played Marco Pusa. We went down to the very last leg and I lost. So I know how, how Tony feels, but it's nice to, um, to win one of them. Bobby, where do you think it stands in the order of merit? Oh, it was a great game. It had all the scoring, all the drama, right down to the, uh, the bullseye bit I like. That's going up for bullseye. And uh, you got to hit that red bit. And he, four times you went, and you got it on the fourth attempt. On the fourth time. But, it, you know, there's no ruling in darts to say how long you've got to go to hit the bullseye. I mean, it could happen one day. We could be up there, two players, for ten minutes, going for the ball, who goes first. God knows what's going to happen then. But you hit that red bit, and that's the best start that you threw in all that match, was that bullseye, because that gives you the chance to go first. I was quite happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> Played lovely darts. I've never seen you play as good as that, Joel, all the years I've known you. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, not if it's 97, 97 average, yeah. You know, over swipe, was it five sets. Mm. Yeah, I've got to be happy with it, yeah. Now, you went to the semi finals last year, but you've been consistent here. This is your 10th campaign here, so you know your way around. Um, is it the crowd? Is it just that you feel comfortable up there? What is it about this place? Um, I just I just like the embassy, really. I uh, get myself ready for the embassy, and uh, I think I've, this is my uh, either third or fourth quarter finals. I've had two semi finals. So, like you said, yeah, I feel like a bit of the, uh, a bit of the furniture, really. Oh, I reckon it's your seventh quarter final. You've done really well here down the years. Um, let's just talk briefly about Tony O'Shea, because first of all, what a gentleman he is, uh, and what a performance he put up. Yeah, um, I mean, t after I beat Tony last year, um, he's sort of gone to the, uh, the the trophy, lost in the final that, runners up in loads of competitions. He's just come on uh, leaps and bounds, really. And uh, like I said, I feel sorry for him, but um, you just got to try to get him out of the way. Colin, I know it's tough for you up there, but it's pretty tough for family and the audience, isn't it? And and Aaron, your son, just gets so involved in what's going on. And there's Kirsty too. <laughs> yeah. Tough for Dad as well, I would imagine. Yeah, he, he thinks that obviously that uh, Dad can't do no wrong and no one can beat Dad like. But um, you remember last year when Merv beat me, I um, turned around to him and said, you know, you have to lose some games sometimes, and that's you know that's my own. And are you are you aware of Aaron in the audience? Can you actually hear him? Or do you ever sort of catch eye contact with him, or are you just mm. going to focus on the board and nowhere else? No, I don't look out to the crowd at all. Mm. If you uh, start looking out to the crowd, I'm, then I feel like I'm uh, not focused. They're all shouting and screaming, like, but um, I just try to cut it all out. Um, how well are you playing in your mind at the moment? Um, after the first game against Sean, I were not happy the way um, my darts were going in. I think I was finding them too hard. I think it was obviously the first man that little pressure, but they seem to be going a little bit better there. So I cocking up a little bit, that's the way I throw. So um, they carry on like that with a 97 average, I'll, I'll be there or thereabouts. Now, the big repeat match against Mervyn King. Hmm. He's, um, he's a tough cookie, I must admit. Um, Mervyn's all round game is very good. Scoring, doubles. He's just a formidable dart player, that's why I think he's number you know, three in the world. Mm. But I've just got, to, um, just got to play my own game. Luckily, it's an evening game again, so it's good preparation for me. Mm. The early games, I just can't, just can't get on them. Um, I think we read a lot about um, uh, sportsmen around the world. The fact that you have to keep to such a high standard of darts, uh, you, you've got the day job as well. You can't, you can't, you can't mess that about. You can't just ignore it, can you? No, not really. Um, my boss Benny, he's, uh, he's quite good to me, really. So he lets me go over weekends away and stuff like that because he's a you know, dedicated darter himself. So um, obviously, after the uh, the embassy, I'll be back out on site, <laughs> and he'll be making me work harder, I imagine. <laughs> it could be Collins' year, Bobby. Do you think? Well, it could be, yeah, if, and if I'm willing to break land, then I'll give you a shout as well after the embassy. Now, it could be your year, but not, well, 97 average, you know, in your mind, that if you play like that, you can win that. Colin, when you're talking about focus, do you, do you dare think about that, or are you just thinking about, I'm over that hurdle, and, uh, and I will not think about anything else but Mervyn King at the moment, and your own darts? Yeah, I'd, I won't think about Merv till tomorrow, and then um, I'll just get myself ready for him, and then... About an hour before the game, I do exactly what I do. I just try not to talk to no one, not being rude, but I just got to get myself all right, and then um, we'll go out there and we're you know, the best man to win. All the very best to you. Thanks for coming this afternoon. Anyway. Uh, let's just take a look at the full lineup now. Uh, the field.